am indeed, and what perfect timing. Look at that. Hopefully that's not um, the, what the hippo's opinion is on my narrating for this evening of the river cams. But a very good evening to all of you. I am sitting at Manning the River Cams up at the top of the Olololo Escarpment. And, of course, the river cams providing us with the most extraordinary view of the wildlife that this area has to offer. And, of course, during the migration, the crossings as well. No, go up, camera. Go up. Oh, no. Up. The other up. Ah, oh, this isn't working at all. For those of you wondering about the disembodied voice that is emanating from your screens, my name is Jamie, and I happen to know why said person walked from Cape to Cairo. I know because I hear that story about once a week. And the reason that he did, of course, was to win the heart of a lady, or at least win the heart of the lady's father, I believe, or win the permission that he was going to need. Right, let's see if we can move the camera. Yes, we can. Of course, as most of you know, we have had a substantial amount of rain here in the Mara over the course of the last week or so. And we've been neglectful of our river cameras because all three of us have been really rather busy and we haven't had time to sit up uh, ensconced in the, the studio. I wonder how James would feel. I might go and move some of his stuff around just to see if he notices, hide something somewhere, just to see. He is away, of course, for a, the duration of two weeks. But the rain, if we have a look at the Mara River, I don't think I've ever seen it as full as it is at the moment. Manu and myself, Manu of course being one of our cameramen, <coughs> he was out with me for two days and we drove back over the Burungat Bridge yesterday, oh no, this morning, oh, it feels like yesterday, this morning, and it was extraordinary just how high the Mara River is. Just look at this. Some of you might be familiar with this view, it is a main north crossing. We often see wildebeest, cross, wildebeest and zebra crossing around here, and if they don't cross here, they cross over there. This camera doesn't want to go up. It doesn't want to go up. Oh, no. Okay, over there in the background, I know now we're focused on the tiny bush, but in the background over there is Main South Crossing. Imagine what it would look like now. Imagine what these poor wildebeest would have to go, to go through in order to get across this river. I have never, ever seen it like this. It's actually quite extraordinary. Well, since our yawning hippos disappeared, let us do some scanning around and see if we can find anything on Maine South, since Maine North is really being rather difficult. So if we could have a quick switch across to uh, the Maine South camera. Baby, please, please, I beg of you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chantel. So there we go. This is Maine South. There we go. And this is, of course, where the Paradise Pride enjoy spending a great deal of their time. They hide in the thickets and the rocks over here. Now, of course, they have no reason to do that at the moment because the crossings aren't happening right now. I can tell you that the wildebeest are... Mm, there's not that many of them on the opposite side of the river. We drove around there two days ago, and there's a lot more a bit further to the south. If we look to the south, we can't see Lookout Hill, of course, from this vantage point, but a bit further to the south, there are many thousands of wildebeest that are starting to gather around the lookout crossings. And a good evening to James. Is that a hippo? Is that a rock? Are we going to get lucky? Is it a... Is that a hippo? Is that a rock? It's a rock. It's a hippo rock. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Let's keep watching it. Everybody, try, try and take some deep breaths. It could... Oh, there's a crocodile at least. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Jamie's out of practice with the river cam. Jamie apologizes. There you go. It was a rock, but it is also a crocodile off on the left. James, in terms of the species in the Mara that become more prominent, I'm going to have to say the insects, I think. Look, look, look above the water. Look really closely. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. You can actually see thousands and thousands of insects blowing around there. That, little midges flying about over the surface of the water. So insects, I think that really, really goes without saying. That applies across the board. I, of course, saw the one hedgehog, which I feel like might have been a, as a result of the rain because it came out foraging, looking for various things to catch. Otherwise, the animal life remains pretty much the same. 
in terms of what we see out here. And it just goes to show, we always talk about the when we watch the crossings, just how much death there is involved. But now look at this, look at this particular co crocodile sitting quietly, waiting, and this could be its life for the next couple of months until the wildebeest return once again. So they do really have to take full advantage. Bethany, you want to know what our best sighting has been <clears throat> on the river camera? There have been so many uh, to actually try and work out. I had one where we just missed a lion kill, and then we had one where we actually managed to see, we, we, we saw her emerge out of the bushes and grab a young wildebeest calf. Those moments are extraordinary because they're just so unexpected. I would also say that the, the baby zebra walking across the back of the crocodile, <clears throat> that to me will always be my favorite. I really, really, uh, you can't help, uh, you, you shouldn't really take sides, but you can't help but be on the side of the zebra foal crossing the river for the first time, the raging torrent of the Mara River. And this actually really is a raging torrent. And the fact that the little zebra foal walked across the back of the crocodile and made it across to the opposite bank safely, I think it's safe to say that was my favorite sighting. I'd love to hear from you, of course, to those of you that have been watching our river crossings when we've gone live. Do you have a particular favorite sighting that you've enjoyed? Sometimes I, I confess the human part of me has struggled with the with the crossings, particularly when the poor wildebeest struggle and they drown. It's just, I find it quite, I've found it quite distressing at times. Now, if I can get cul-de-sac to focus, hold on one moment. I'm going to show you something else, something interesting. Come on. Focus. Oh, it's just too close. I was going to try and show you the poison apple that's growing at cul-de-sac crossing, but it's not really working. <clears throat> All right, so we will be starting a school drive this evening. Obviously, as you know, it's something that we all really enjoy doing.